us. Atlanta News First reporter Madeline Montgomery is inside of a UPS shipping center today to show you how their elves make sure your Christmas dreams come true. Since one this morning, these elves, or should I say UPS employees, have been working hard to sort through packages to get them on trucks to make sure they get to your house and under your Christmas tree just in time. It's not the North Pole, but thousands of Christmas gifts are being wrapped, sorted, and sent out of UPS this week. I think every driver probably feels like Santa. The shipping company sees double the amount of packages this time of year. Oh, it's crunch time in here, so when we get started, it's right away, it's go time. With tomorrow being the most hectic day. Busiest day. I'm not looking forward to it, but hey, I'm here, so let's do it. How do these gifts get from point A to point B on time? Every employee has a part in that process. We have prepared by staffing up the, all the buildings and making sure that all the seasonal hires are in place and ready to go. I run the console, and the console basically, they control all the belts in the building. So. I look at all the cameras, make sure we don't have any jams, make sure all the packages are flowing correctly, and making sure all the sorters are getting the packages to the right belts. For the past five years, UPS has been the leading on-time performer for delivery companies. Part of that is having strict deadlines for when you need to ship your packages. Today is the last day to mail packages through UPS's three-day select service. Tomorrow is the last day to send gifts by their second day air. And December 22nd is the last day to take advantage of UPS's next day air packages. Everybody wants to be happy on Christmas. You know, nobody wants to be left out without their packages, anything. So we have to make sure we get it out on time, make sure everything's executed on time. This chaos is going to slow down this weekend, but around New Year's Day is when it picks back up as people return their gifts and buy stuff with the gift cards that they got. For now, reporting in Roswell, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.